welcome back to another M Creator video. Today we are going to be learning how to uh, rotate a block such as a log in the current version of M Creator 1.8.1, 1 .1, I believe we're on. Um, now, they'll probably be adding better support in the future for rotating blocks and stuff using events. I did uh, talk to the developer and it sounds like he's going to be adding more features regarding events and stuff like that, especially around rotating. So uh, this might become outdated eventually, but currently this is uh, a working method to rotate blocks. Now uh, if you're thinking about data values or even just copying the, um, what do you call it? the uh, block state and stuff like that, that would work, but it's a lot more work and you have to code and stuff, so um, I'm trying to make it this tutorial as easy for everyone to follow as possible. Uh, first thing you want to do is uh, create your first block uh, for your rotating, and uh, I'm just going to call it zero and everything like that. So I'm just going to import the textures, and the texture alignment for the logs uh, specifically are that layout. Uh, fix textures and uh, you want to give it a GUI name so I'm just going to call it uh, sugar maple and um, just leave it as that and uh, log that's all good uh, creative tab and axe uncheck us uh, affected by silt touch and then you want uh, wood and wood and uh, set the harvest level to zero and um, that looks good so next and um, get that all compiled and now what you want to do is create another block which is going to be your other state so we're going to call it basically the same thing and uh, I'm also going to leave a link to in the description um, about uh, how to make element names and stuff like that so it's compatible with other mods alright so again uh, the textures I'm just going to import all the textures and then we're going to change up the rotation a little bit so we're going to rotate it this way and for logs what you're going to need to do is um, have a rotated texture like this and then you're going to paste your rotated texture in and I believe these ones these ones should um, yeah these ones are rotated as well uh, for this particular model so that's all good and um, yeah it will make more sense when it's actually in game but uh, yeah, compile that and uh, hit next and then give it the same name uh, because people are going to be picking up this log as well but it, we want it to say the same in the GUI. So axe and do all the same setting as before. So wood, wood and set the harvest to zero and compile that. And finally we're going to be working on our last block state. Uh, just name this one uh, basically the same thing, just uh, with, a z with a 2 at the end, and um, this will work fine. So next, import all your textures. So I'm going to select that one, and we're going to select this, and that. And then finally, we're going to update these two textures here. And that's all you need for your last block state. So same setting, same everything, just uh, copy everything you've done over to this particular model as well. So sugar maple log, uh, creative tab, axe, uncheck silk touch, so block state, and make sure the properties are wood. And uh, then we'll carry on to the next step. So the next step is to import a item uh, so we're going to be working on using an item or a tool to rotate the block now like I said before it's um, 
not as supported for uh, this version yet, uh, but they probably will add better support for block rotation and stuff in the future. I'm just going to call it a wooden hammer and we're going to be basically adding a procedure and everything to rotate blocks later on. Uh, first, um, just give it a name and um, what you want to do is put it under axe if um, you're using uh, the uh, what do you call it um, damage values. Currently it doesn't work with right clicking but in the future it might, so um, if you're going to be using that, then select something like an axe or whatever. And um, yeah, so we'll get to the procedure in a second, but um, let's just carry on. Now there's a couple ways to go about making this um, hammer work, and with the current state, um, you don't really need any damage value because it's pretty much broken for right clicking right now so um, don't worry about the right clicking um, but the procedure is exactly the same for if you're not right clicking I'll just explain it, how it works in just a second so first thing you want is an if statement and then you want to grab um, a item equal to and then you want to grab a item block so we're going to test if um, the entity is holding the hammer, that's the first thing, that's the condition that uh, this whole procedure will take place. So uh, next we want another if statement and uh, this condition we're going to add uh, three if else statements so uh, or else if. So it will basically test three things simultaneously and if uh, one of those is true to something then we'll uh, do something with that thing. So we're going to create a block equals to and then we're going to get block at and what we want to do is just clone uh, that three times and you're going to do this for every block state you want to rotate so anything you want to add on to this particular item to rotate a block then you're going to be adding a new if else or else if statement so now we want to remove the block uh, this is just uh, makes the thing a little bit cleaner when it comes to um, how the blocks are placed and stuff uh, in the past M creators had some issues with um, block placement if the block wasn't removed then we're going to place the block that we want so we will just put that underneath the remove block at and finally I like to I've played around with it a little bit but if you add a sound it makes it a lot more um, I don't know it just feels right it, it's a more appealing to the uh, visual and uh, audio effects so I'm just going to select wood now I'm not actually going to be playing the sound in the um, video because I didn't actually record audio but um, I am dubbing over so we're just going to clone that sound three times because we're going to be working with a log so it's going to basically place use the place uh, block sound for wood and if you're going to be using data val um, or damage values then you would want to add this particular uh, event, but because it's not currently working, then you're just going to disable um, the damage value completely. And I'll show you how to do that with the tool in just a sec. But um, first, uh, we want to select our two textures uh, or two blocks. So we're going to update the um, block, uh, as you can see that I'm circling, and uh, you want to select in a row so it rotates completely in a full circle. So the bottom texture would be the one it's testing and then the top texture is the one it's replacing. So you're going to do that for every event and basically it will go in a loop every time you right click on it. So basically what's happening is it's going to test for the player holding the item, it's going to test for what kind of block state it currently is and then it's going to um, execute the um, the procedure of how you set it up. So 
that's what it's going to do. It's going to remove the block, place the block that is the next state, and then it's going to uh, continue that thing, and it's going to keep testing for a new block state. So yeah, that's uh, how it's set up. Uh, now we need to wait for it to compile and then um, link the event and everything like that. So procedure and then right click block and then. So like I said before, uh, just remove the um, damage value for the um, item. So generally, you would put this underneath and it would damage the, vet, the item a little bit uh, based on uh, how many right clicks and stuff, but uh, with the current version of mCreator, it doesn't actually work too well with right clicking. Uh, it's good for block breaking, but it's not good for uh, right clicking currently, so it, they'll probably add more features uh, and support in the future. Uh, now, what you want to do is set it to special it was on axe so what you want to do is set it to special and um, this will just make an unlimited item and then you're just going to set all the values to zero and not add a block for it to break the procedure is still the same and um, that's all you need to do for that so if you're in game and you're trying to destroy something with this item, it's not going to destroy anything, including the block. But if you right click on the block that it uh, has a procedure, as you can see, it rotates the block completely. And um, you can even pick up the states um, in the form that they are in. So we're going to pick this up. So it's basically um, a tool that will allow you to craft a block you know, while you right click on something, which is handy um, for building and stuff, and you can change how you want the log and everything like that. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the best that I can come up with with this current version of AmCreator. I was going to do a whole bunch of different other stuff like coding and stuff, and then I'm like, that's not really stable. Minecraft changes their code uh, quite often, and um, it, it would the tutorial would eventually break. So, I hope you enjoyed and hopefully found this helpful. Thank you for watching my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click that little silver bell for notifications. You can also go to my Google Plus page. I use that as a feed for all my new videos that I publish. If you want to go a little bit further in supporting me, uh, you can also go to my website and do a one-time donation on the donation page, or you can subscribe to me on Patreon and, um, and get content earlier than anyone else on YouTube. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas, definitely comment in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer your questions or comments. And uh, if I don't get back to you right away, then I might be a little bit busy at the moment, but I will do my best to get back to uh, as many people as I can, as with uh, the time that I do have. Uh, thank you for watching my video, and I hope to see you next time.